Okay, so I'm going to go over quiz 5B, version B. This is the take-home quiz that you didn't actually take at home that you're doing now. So I suggest you do it first and then watch this video, but you can just do it along with the video if you want. So the directions say write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the given line. So the reason they're giving us this line is our new equation has to be parallel to that. Well, to be parallel to that, it would have to have the same slope. So I'm going to rewrite this in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to add 4x to both sides. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and I get 2x plus 9 halves. Well, I really don't care about the 9 halves. All I care about is the slope. So now, essentially, I just want to write an equation that goes through this point and has a slope of 2. So y equals 2x plus b, and I'm going to plug in 1 for y, negative 2 for b, and 1 equals negative 4 plus b, so b equals negative 5. So if that's the case, my answer is y equals 2x minus 5. No, sorry, plus 5. The answer is y equals 2x plus 5. Okay, now another way I could have done it is using the point slope form, y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus negative 2, which is x plus 2. y minus 1 equals 2x plus 4, so y equals 2x plus 5. So I did it two different ways and got the same answer, y equals 2x plus 5. Now, for the next one, again, it's parallel. The point I'm given is 2, negative 5. And the equation I'm giving is 2y equals 4 minus 3x. So I'll write it as 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. All I care about is the slope is negative 3 halves. So now I have a point and a slope. I prefer using point slope form. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of this fraction. So 2y plus 10 equals negative 3x minus 2. 2y plus 10 equals negative 3x plus 6. 2y equals negative 3x minus 4. y equals negative 3 halves x minus 2. So my equation is y equals negative 3 halves x minus 2. Okay. Now, number 3 says write an equation of the line in slope-intercept form that passes through the given point and is perpendicular to the given line. So now, instead of using the same slope, I'm looking to use the perpendicular slope. Well, the perpendicular slope to positive two-thirds is negative three-halves. So get rid of that because I don't need it. Now I'm going to say y minus two equals negative three-halves x plus one. y minus two equals negative three-halves x minus three-halves. If I add a positive 2 to negative 1 and 1 half, I get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 1 half. Okay? Now, again, you could have just done y equals negative 3 halves x plus b and plugged in 2 equals negative 3 halves times negative 1 plus b. So 2 equals 1 and 1 half plus b, and you get b equals 1 half. Okay, now for number 4, we have 3 negative 2, 6y equals 2x plus 1. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is find the slope of this. 
which is one third x plus one sixth. So if m is one third, the perpendicular m equals negative three. So I cross all this out, say y plus two equals negative three times x minus three. y plus two equals negative three x plus nine y equals negative 3x plus 7. Okay, now number 5 says determine which of the following lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. Okay, and list all the possible pairs. So line A is 3y plus x equals 6. I'm going to rewrite that as x plus 3y equals 6 because I don't want to think that that's standard form. Line B is y equals 3x plus 2, and line C is 3x minus y equals 0. So obviously I want to find the slope of these. Here, if you kept it as 3y equals negative x plus 6, y equals negative 1 third x plus 2, or I could say this is a over b, which is 1 over 3. b is positive, slope is negative. I did it two different ways, and I got a slope of negative 1 third. Here, obviously, the slope is 3. I'll write it as 3 over 1. And here, I have negative y equals negative 3x. So if I divide by negative 1, y equals 3x. So here, I have a slope of 3 over 1 also. Okay, so the first thing you do is clearly identify the slopes. Now I'm going to erase this, and I'm just going to work with the slopes. Obviously, B is parallel to C. A is perpendicular to B, and A is perpendicular to C. So those are the three relationships. Okay, now let's turn the page, and we're going to do the same thing again. Now, for this, line A, they give you the slope, so it's negative 4 fifths. Line B, they give you the slope, negative 5 fourths. Line C, I have to divide everything by 5, but I get a slope of negative 4 fifths. Well, although these are reciprocals, they're both negative. So this has no relation to A and C but A is parallel to C. So that's the answer to number six. Now, number seven and eight, I'm gonna just put here, let's zoom in. And to me, seven is obviously positive because you can just draw a positively sloping line right here. And this is no correlation. Now, for 9, if it's asking you to find the 0 of a function, that does not mean let x equal 0. It means let f of x equal 0. You're finding the y, sorry, the x-intercept. So that means 11x equals 77, x equals 7. So that is the answer to 9. Go. That is the answer to 9. And now I'll do the answer to 10. So again, I'm going to let f of x equal 0. I'm going to say 6 equals 1 third x. Multiply both sides by 3, and x equals 18. Okay, now for the next ones, um, I'm going to put them on a separate video, so go to the next video.